We're back with the second and final string of this King of the Hill tournament at Mason Recreation Center in Lemonster, Massachusetts. Coming into the second string, John Woodrum, who you see on the right lane, lane four, is leading by 54 pins over Phil Clough, having recorded a 153 to Phil's 99 in the first game. And as I mentioned, this is a handicap event, and Phil is actually giving John two pins. So John will start off with uh, with two more pins right out of the box. Phil with a spare in the first box. And John Woodrum with a nine, which with the two handicap pins gives him 11 after one. John Woodrum, as I mentioned, is the reigning king of the hill here at Mason's, having won the tournament last month. Phil Clough has also won this tournament a number of times recently. So, if you want to come down some month and participate in this King of the Hill tournament, it is always the first Saturday of the month, and it's normally held at 8.15 p.m. Uh, this During the summer, it's been at 7.15, but starting in October, which will be October the 1st, it'll be uh, held at at uh, 8:15 p.m. Cost 21 bucks to uh, enter, and the, and for 21 bucks you get a three-string qualifying round that everybody bowls in, and the top four bowlers on a handicap basis make the cut and move on to match play in a, a step ladder with the um, the winner of the step ladder which in this case was Bill Clough, goes on to take on the reigning King of the Hill in a two-string match, which you're seeing right now. The other matches are all one string. And there's a nice spare by Phil Clough in the third frame. If you want to come down for this event, you'll need to bring some kind of an average verification, either a printout from your league if you have one, or a MBA or a New Hampshire state average card would probably work, or some other kind of average verification. And the way they, uh, they run the event is that for the first 15 strings that you bowl at, here at King of the Hill, they use your, uh, here's, a, here's a nice diamond conversion by John Woodrum, and you can see the two pin clips the four and it falls into the eight. Anyway, I started to say the first 15 strings you bowl at King of the Hill, they will use the average that you brought in on your average verification. And then after that, uh, the tournament director, Jim Mazzaferro, will use your cumulative average from the King of the Hill tournament. That's a lot of fun. Anyway, a nice bid by Phil Clough on that 3, 6, 7, 10, but uh, not quite able to get the 7. He uh, takes a 10 box. John Woodrum filling that spare that he recorded in the 4th. And he drops 7, leaving a 3, 5, 6 triangle. Again, I apologize for the somewhat squiggly video in this this uh, clip. I think my camera was trying to stabilize the uh, the image from the somewhat wiggly position on top of the overhead scoring projector. And there is a great shot by Phil Clough. You can see it on replay. He cuts the three pin over into that 478 triangle and really takes it uh, takes it out crisply. That gives Phil 60 through 5 plus the Phil ball. And John Woodrum with 57 through 5 as they switch lanes. Phil goes over to lane 4 and John moves to lane 3. Phil Clough will be filling in that spare. And he's still down by 
close to 50 pins, so it's going to be a, a long uphill climb in the uh, second half. And that's if John Woodrum doesn't keep throwing marks at him. And John has an 8-drop. 4-7. He's got a, a spare leave. Let's see what he can do with this. And he's got it. Hits the 4-pin a little bit light. Comes off the wall and gets the 7. Phil Clough with a 10 box. Phil has 74 through 6. John with 67 with a spare up. Phil Clough delivers in the 7th and drops 7 leaving a 6-9-10 triangle. John fills in the spare with 9 leaving the 8 pin really uh, solid in the 1-3 pocket. Wow, Phil with a nice try on that 6-9-10 triangle. He just got a little bit too light on the left side of the 6 and it went right around the 10 pin. John is all over that 8-pin for a spare. So he's really taking uh, taking the suspense out of this match. It's pretty clear that John Woodrum is going to defend his title and his seat on the King of the Hill position. So that means that he'll come back next month and defend his title. He puts 7 on that spare, giving him 93 through... 7. 3, 5, 6 triangle and he just goes by the 3 pin taking out the 5. Phil Clough with a 10 box. And John with a 9 giving him 102 through 8 to Phil's 94. Phil Clough delivers in the 9th and comes a little bit high on the head pin leaving a 4, 6, 10 split. And John also pretty full on the head pin, leaving a 2, 4, 6, 9. Wow, and there is a great shot by John Woodrum. Taking another look at it, you can see that he hits that 2, 4, splits the 2, 4, and the 2 pin goes over into the 9 pin and then bounces off the 9 into the 6, that's just a perfect spare. Kind of similar to the one Phil Clough made a few frames ago on the, on the other side. Phil Clough with a strike in the 10th box. Take a look at this, he crosses over the head pin and comes in high flush in the 1-2 pocket and puts 10 pins on the deck pretty quickly. John Woodrum with a nice ball in the 1-2 pocket. Also, he drops 8, leaving the 5-9. Doesn't really matter whether he makes this or not because he's got the match put away. He's got it well in hand. And it's a good thing because he goes by it. But anyway, he's going to uh, have a good, strong total in this string. That'll be an 8 box, and that'll give John Woodrum a 128 and a 281 total for the two-string match. So Phil Clough will come in second this month, and he will fill in his strike. And he'll get 9 on the strike to come up with a 123 game and a 222. So you can see the total for two strings, John Woodrum, 281 maintaining his title over Phil Clough with 222. So now we'll go to the the other feature of this tournament is that the top three finishers have a shot at the Hilo jackpot. Similar to the old Channel 5 show, you take a shot at the 1710 and there's a, a jackpot that grows by 20, I think it's by $25 every month. So the, uh, the winner always takes the first shot at it, and that's John Woodrum. He hits the head pin, but doesn't get either the 7 or the 10. So now Phil Clough will take a shot at it. He will.
And Phil also punches the head pin straight back. And now Eric Bromberg, otherwise known as Broomy, will take a shot. He bowled really well this month, uh, advancing to the semifinals before losing to Phil Clough. And Eric also takes out the head pin. So that's going to do it for this month's King of the Hill tournament here at Mason Recreation Center. See you next month.